The pegboard has been used in many sports like CrossFit, Spartan, and Ninja Warrior. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a vertical pegboard. Welcome back to the Ninja Life. I'm Darren Paris, and I'm here to help you overcome obstacles. On this channel, we provide you with training tips and ninja related product reviews. So if this sounds like something that interests you, please consider subscribing. So American Ninja Warrior saw its first version of the pegboard back on season five, and it was introduced as the monkey peg. And since then, there have been many variations throughout the years. And me personally, I've encountered numerous variations throughout many competitions. And any of these variations require really good lock-off strength. So what better way to gain that strength than to build your own? Let's get started. We'll need a saw, a drill, some drill bits, a sander, some sandpaper, a measuring square, a one and three eighths of an inch hole saw, or a spade bit, depending on your preference, a hammer, a punch, a clamp, a pencil, a measuring tape, and something to help screw in the eye bolts. As for our materials, we'll need at least six feet of a two by eight and two four inch eye bolts. I'll put a more detailed list of our materials down in the description, so be sure to check that out. I'll also put a timestamp so you can easily come back to this point in the video once you've gone out and bought all your materials. Now that we have everything we need, let's begin. We start by measuring and cutting our board to six feet. Now we are going to measure four inches from the top, then measure every eight inches thereafter. If you're using the six foot like I am, then this should give you a total of nine lines. From here, we're going to measure and mark one and a half inches for both sides for each line. Now we're gonna set up and clamp our board in preparation to drill. Take your hammer and punch and make an indent on each mark. Grab your drill and hole saw, then cut out each peg hole. Let's face it, splinters suck. So be sure to sand your boards to avoid them. To set up our eyeball placement, we're gonna measure and mark one and a half inches from each side and three quarters of an inch from the top. Punch. Make your pilot holes. And then finally, screw the eye bolts into the pegboard. Cut 
Congratulations, you just built your very own vertical pegboard. This is such a good training tool to help increase your lock-off strength. Hopefully the next time you encounter any variation of the pegboard, you'll be ready. Now that I have showed you how to build a pegboard, if you guys want to learn how to use the pegboard or incorporate it into your training, drop a comment and let me know. If I get enough feedback, I'll definitely make that video just for you. Ninja Talk. I absolutely love the pegboard. It's, it's just so fun to play on. But thinking back to the first time I saw this obstacle, it was pretty intimidating. Do you remember the first time you saw or tried this obstacle? Did you absolutely beast it? Or were you like me and just completely intimidated by this forearm intense, weird looking contraption? I would love to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you for watching my video. To keep up with the latest, be sure to subscribe. For more DIY obstacles, check out our How to Build Ninja Warrior Obstacles series. Or you can check out more Ninja Life content here. Keep training hard. I hope to see you on the course. And I'll catch you guys next time on The Ninja Life.